Hi everyone. Well, as you probably know, at this time of the year, I usually put out a tribute video to the um, to the Apollo One and the and the Space Shuttle Columbia and Challenger astronauts. But uh, unfortunately, I won't, it appears I won't be able to do so this year. My computer is currently being repaired, and I'm out of action now as a result of it. In fact, I'm recording this video on my Samsung Galaxy Tab here. But I'd like to take this opportunity to um, to say some words that I prepared. Um, as some of you already know, I had interviewed Roger Beaujolais prior to his death last year. Beaujolais was the engineer at Firecoal, Morton Firecoal, the company that, that built the, 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 the Space Shuttle's uh, solid rocket boosters. Uh, Beaujolais was the man who tried to prevent the Challenger from launching in, in cold weather because he knew that it would be catastrophic. Uh, I interviewed him over the phone about this a long time ago. And uh, while his talk was mostly about the Challenger, he also discussed the, the Apollo 1 and Space Shuttle Columbia disasters too. I'm currently in the process of uh, putting that documentary together using his audio. I've, I've lined his audio up in sequence with, with my narration and I'm, I'm currently in the process of adding the appropriate visual aid. I've got, I've got lots of stock footage and papers and documents from, from the investigation as well as, um, as photos that Beaujolais had sent me prior to his death. Um, there are some scenes that will have to be reenacted, like the um, like the teleconference between NASA and um, and Firecall prior to the launch. They had held they had held a, a telecon on the night before the launch. NASA and um, and Firecall. Firecall was trying to pre trying to prevent uh, the Challenger disaster, and um, NASA they were basically effectively telling them to sit down and shut up. And um, I'd, I'd also like to take like to like to add that um, the interview is um, in the in the documentary. The interview is virtually uncut. Obviously, um, obviously I edited out the occasional er and um, but um, and added some narration here and there. But but nonetheless, you'll be getting um, Beaujolais' talk from from start to finish. And uh, so that that film should be out later this year. I'll be releasing it on um, DVD. I don't have a release date set just yet, but um, I'll keep you all posted, and um, hopefully you'll enjoy it. Well, nice talking to you. Bye.